So Fortnite Season 3 launched just over a week ago and I'm excited to bring you a whole new exciting round of lessons starting with this. Today we're drawing the awesome new Kit Skin, which is a baby version of Meowsel's riding a motorized unicycle. If you're already into the new season, I need to hear your request down in the comments below. So let's jump into today's lesson on how to draw Kit from Fortnite Season 3. Now we're going to get started at the very top of our page with the eyes. So start on the left side, draw in a small circle. Starting from the top, let's work our way down towards the bottom, and then back up. And we want to leave a large gap in the center and draw the same thing on the right. So let's line up the top of the eye, come down towards the bottom, and back up towards the top. Now I'm going to add a small highlight circle on the top of each eye. So on the left side, I'm going to draw a small circle coming in and back up. Do the same thing on the right. And then we'll fill the eyes in black. Now before we draw in the mouth, let's move out and draw the lower half of the head. We're going to line up with the bottom edge of the eye, move all the way out towards the left, and draw a half circle. Come down towards the bottom, and we'll pull that up on the right side. And then we're going to add that point along the side of the cheeks. Let's start on the left, curve in, and then bend that up. Do the same thing on the right. Let's close off the top of the head with a half circle. We're going to start back on the left side. We're going to curve up in the middle. We'll round this out. And then come down on the right. Now we're going to move back in and add that patch around the eyes. Let's start at the very top in the center. Start with a straight line coming down to right about there. Draw a short curve going up and out towards the left. And then we'll pull that back in and then down in between the eyes. And then from the center, we're going to curve down and out towards the side. Let's add a point. From here, we're going to curve up and in with a short line. And then we'll curve out and down towards the bottom of the head on both sides. Let's move back to the center and draw them up. We're going to start on the left side. We're going to draw a curve coming down and then back up. Let's add the ears on the side of the head. Let's start on the left side. We're going to start with a straight angle line, going up and out. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. Now we're going to round out the tip of the ears. Starting on the left, we're going to curve around and then down. And then we'll bend the ear going out, down, and then in towards the side of the head. And then we'll trace the ears along the inside. Starting from the bottom, we'll step up. Let's trace this out towards the top. And then pull that in. Now the body is basically a deconstructed motorcycle. So let's start with the center of the handlebars. Starting over on the left side. Start with a straight line going across towards the right. Let's round out the ends with a bracket. Going out and then back in. And then we'll close off the bottom with a straight line. Now we'll add the edge of the grip along the side of the bar. Starting at the top left, we'll draw an oval. Going up, down, and then back up along the bottom. And we'll take that and flip it over on the right. Starting from the top, we'll draw that oval. Going up, down, and then back up. Now Kit's paws are going to be sitting on top of the handlebar. So let's start on the left side. We're going to step up, curve down towards the bottom of the paw, and then pull that back up. It's almost like a half circle. And then from here, we're going to curve up towards the top of the arm, and then hook that down on the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. From the outside, we'll step up, draw that half circle coming down and back up. And we'll curl this around towards the top, come in, and then pull that down. Let's separate out the paws with two curves. We're going to start on the outside, go up and bend that in, we'll step in and draw that again. And we'll close off the side of the body. Just underneath the head on the left side, we're going to curve out and down in behind the arms. 
I'm also gonna add that stripe along the top of the shoulders. Let's start right where the head meets the body. Curve in and then down. And they'll taper that back up and out towards the side of the body. And then we'll tuck the handles in behind the paw. I'm gonna line up with the center line going out towards the side of the paw. A straight line going out. And then we'll round out the ends. Just curving out and then back in with a short curve. And then we'll pull that straight in behind the grip. Let's move back to the center and draw a large circle for the headlight. Starting in the center, just underneath the bar, we'll draw that circle. Point out, down towards the bottom, and then back up towards the top. And then we'll trace this circle on the inside. Starting back at the top, we'll step down and leave an even space gap all the way around, and then back up. I'm going to add a small detail on the side of the light. Let's start on the left side with a short line going out. Line this up on the right. Do the same thing. Now I'm going to come down the side. Right about there. And then we'll pull that back in with a straight line. Now we're going to leave a small gap at the bottom of the light and draw two straight lines. One coming down on the left, move over towards the right, and come down towards the same height. And we'll add that bar going across. We're going to step over towards the left, draw a straight line going across. Let's come down the side in a straight line. And then we'll flatten off the bottom. Short line coming in. And I'm just going to trace this out along the inside. Going up, go across, and then back down. And then we'll add two bars going out towards the side. From the top corner, we'll step down, straight line going all the way out, line this up on the right, do the same thing. And again, we just want to round out the ends, going out and then in with a short curve. And we'll pull that back in towards that center piece. And now we're going to layer the bottom edge of the tank in behind. Let's start over on the left side, start with a straight line coming in towards that bar. And we'll continue over on the right. And then we'll come down and out with a short line. Now the point on the outside marks the outside edge of the tire. So let's start back on the left. A straight line coming down in behind that bar. And we'll continue all the way down towards the bottom of the tire. Do the same thing on the right. I'm going to bring this down towards the same height that we have on the left. And then we'll close off the bottom of the tire with a curve. Starting back on the left, come down in the middle, and then bend that back up. Now we're gonna add a simple tread pattern on the tire. We're starting in the center. Start with a straight line coming all the way down towards the bottom. Now halfway between the outside and that center line at the very top, draw another line. Coming all the way down, coming down towards the bottom of the tire, and we'll do the same thing on the right. Let's draw on the outside tread. Start on the left side, we're gonna draw an angle line, going up and in. We're gonna leave a gap, draw that again. Now we're gonna continue this pattern all the way down towards the bottom of the tire. And then we'll take that and flip it over on the right side. So we'll line these up. And then the inside tread is going to come down and in. So let's start back on the left side at the very top. Pull that down and in behind the bar. And then we'll fill that inside gap with one more line. Going up and out underneath the bar. Now I'm going to go back up and draw on the outside of the tank. Let's start on the left side. Start with a straight line going up and out. And then from here we're going to curve up and then bend that in behind the grip of the handlebar.
and then we'll add a trim along the outside of the tank. Starting from this point, start by going straight up, and then we'll bend that out. Let's continue working down with the legs. In the center, we're going to step down, draw a straight line going across from left to right, and then from the ends, we'll angle up and out underneath the tire. And then from the outside, we're gonna step in and draw two lines. One coming down on the left, and then the right, and we'll close off the bottom. Now from that bottom corner, we're gonna step up and draw the inside of the leg. We curve out and then down. Line this up on the right. Do the same thing. And we'll draw a short line coming in toward the inside of the leg. And then from the inside, we'll draw a straight line coming down towards the knee. Let's round out the bottom of the thigh. Starting from the inside, we're going to curve down and then back up towards the outside of the leg. Now we're going to move back up towards the top of the lower torso. We're going to curve out and then down towards the bottom of the thigh. And then we'll add some detail to the thighs. Starting from the outside, start with a straight angle line coming down and in. Line this up on the right. Do the same thing. Now we're going to follow the same curve of the leg, going out and then down towards the bottom. Let's add a strap along the inside. We're going to start back on the left, curve down and then up. Line this up on the right. Now we're going to step down and draw on the bottom of the strap, following that same curve. Now there's a curved pipe along the inside of each leg. From the bottom corner, we're going to step up, curve down, and then back out. And then we'll step up and just trace that across. Now I'm going to move back to the inside of the leg and draw the hinge. Let's we'll start from the left side. We're going to draw an oval going out, and then back up. And we'll do the same thing on the right. And then from the bottom of the oval, draw a straight line going out toward the side. And then we'll round out the end, curving out and then up in behind the leg. Let's move to the bottom of the oval, draw a straight line coming all the way down towards the heel on both sides. Let's round out the bottom of the feet. We're going to start back at the heel on the left, and curve the foot coming down, and we'll bend that up. And then back on the left side, let's round out the top of the foot. We start from the toe, we're going to curve up, and we'll pull this all the way down towards the heel. And then we'll add a seam across the foot, starting at the very top, curve in, and then down towards the bottom of the foot. And we'll add one curve along the front of the foot. Starting from the outside, we'll step in, just follow that same curve of the foot, going back in towards that line. Now we're gonna move back up to the bottom corner of the hinge, draw the outside of the leg coming down, and we'll bend that out on top of the foot. Let's go back up to the top of the ankle on the inside, step out, draw a straight line coming down, and then we'll curve this up and out towards the outside of the leg. All right, now we're gonna move back up and draw on the arm. Let's start by drawing a bar along either side. Starting from the top corner of this bar, we're gonna angle up and then out. We'll go to the right side and do the same thing, going up to the same height. Let's round up the end. Going up and then back down. And we'll follow that same angle line, coming down and then in. Now the shoulders are going to slope down towards the side. Let's start from this point, angle down and out. Let's round up the end, curving out and then back in. And we'll follow that same angle line, going all the way up and in.
Let's flatten off the inside. Come down and in with a straight line. Now we'll pull that back in towards the top of the bar. There's a hinge that connects the shoulder to the upper arm. So let's start up here at the very top and draw in a circle. All the way around and then back up. And I'll add a smaller circle in the center. And then from the bottom of the circle, and draw two straight lines coming down towards yellow. Let's start with the inside. A straight line coming down. Go to the left. Draw that same length line. And we'll close off the bottom with a straight line. Let's take that and duplicate it over on the right. And then we'll angle the forearm coming down and in. Let's start with the inside corner. Come down and in towards the wrist. Let's round up the wrist. Come down and then back up. With a short curve. And we'll follow that same angle line going all the way up towards the outside corner of the upper arm. Let's go back to the inside corner of the wrist and draw on the thumb. Draw on a small half circle going in and then back out. At the end of the thumb, we'll add a bracket. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now we'll add three fingers on either side. Starting from the bottom of the thumb, curve around the bracket, and then go up, step down, go down, and then up. And then the third finger, we're gonna go out and then just pull that in towards the outside of the wrist. I'm also going to add a pad on the outside of the hand. Start from the center of the wrist, angle down and in, and then we'll curve down and out towards the outside of the hand. Let's add a couple lines to separate the forms. Start from the bottom of the wrist, we're going to step up, just trace that same curve, coming down and up. And then from the top of the arm, we're going to step down and draw an angle line, going up and in. Now let's move all the way back up and add those shields in behind the shoulder. We start on the left side, start with a straight line going up, do the same thing on the right, we go out with a short line, and then we'll go up and out with an angled line. And then from the top, we draw a straight line going out towards the side. Now let's draw an angle line coming down and in. And then from the inside, we're going to draw a straight line coming all the way down toward the bottom of the shield. Right about there. Now these shields are going to bend around the shoulder. So let's start at the very top. Draw another straight line coming down. We don't want to go all the way. We're going to stop right about there. Do the same thing on the right. And then we'll connect these two points with an angled line. And then from that inside corner, we'll step up and draw a straight line coming in behind the arm on both sides. And that's pretty much it. There's the kit skin from Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 3. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.